video, we're going to be working on fixing mistakes in slipped stitch projects. I always have trouble saying that. Um, but first I wanna talk about the tools that I use for fixing mistakes in any of my knitting. My most important tool is a crochet hook or multiple crochet hooks as you see here. This is the crochet hook that I keep on my side table in a ceramic knitted cup with all of my other knitting important things like stitch markers and scissors and tape measures and lip balm and all the things that clutter up your side table in the living room. But this is really important. This one is three and a half millimeters, which is the same as like a US size four needle, which is nice because I can use it on worsted weight yarn. I can use it on fingering yarn. I can use it on lace weight yarn, sport, DK. That kind of covers most of my projects. I don't use bulky yarn a lot, but if I wanted to use bulky yarn, I would just need a bigger crochet hook. And even if you don't crochet, learning to fix your mistakes with a crochet hook is a great thing to do. Um, when you fix mistakes with your knitting needles, it's very easy for the stitches to become twisted or oriented in the wrong direction. And then you have a place where you can go back and look at your knitting and say, oh, I made a mistake. Crochet hooks fix this. So I wanted to show you a couple other things that I have. If I am going out of town, these come with me and they go on my keychain for real. And this has three different sizes of crochet hooks. So we have a big one like for bulky things, kind of a medium and then a tiny one. And these are really nice because no matter where I'm at, I'm in a hotel, I'm traveling for work or whatever, I always have these to fix my mistakes. And then this little guy has kind of that medium size and then also a small size. And this one I love because it's small enough to fit in the change zipper portion of your wallet. So this is actually always with me. So if I'm sitting in line somewhere with my husband and I need to fix a mistake, I just pull it out of my wallet and he thinks I'm a magician. So what I have here is I have some slip stitch work that is messed up. Messed up is bad, but here messed up is good because we're gonna learn something. So if you look at these slip stitches, I'm gonna use my little pencil here to show you. They're gathered up in intervals. So we gather here, we gather here, we take these slip, slip stitches and gather here. We missed a gather right there. You see how that's standing out and that looks wrong? And I'm getting ready to do my next set of slip stitch, slip stitch work and I'm like, oh no, I've gathered, missed a gather. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my yarn to the front so I remember that I'm slipping these stitches and then I'm gonna go over to where I would gather. And that is this stitch here. And then I'm gonna do the scary thing and I'm gonna drop down to get these. And I actually only have to drop down two stitches. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my longer crochet hook. I have bigger hands, so I find it easier to work with the longer ones unless I'm traveling. I'm gonna let this stitch come off the left hand needle tip. And I'm just gonna use my crochet hook to unplink once and unplink twice. Now, I'm gonna stick my crochet hook through the front into that stitch to hold on to it, just because I don't want it to go anywhere. And then I have two strands that are floating across the back here that I need to do. Now, if I was just had just missed a stitch and I just needed to knit it, all I do, and I'm gonna show you how to do this before we fix the actual slip mistake, I go under the first strand and I turn the head of my hook just slightly to the left. Do you see how I'm turning that? And then that allows it to come through. And I'm gonna do it again. I go under the strand, turn my hook to the left, that what's allowed to catch it, and slip through. And then when I'm putting that back on my needle tip, I go from the front to the back. And then we have a properly oriented stitch that is sitting correctly on the needle. But let's drop those back again, because we had dropped two we need to catch these slips underneath. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go under these two strands and get my guy. See, I've got my guy here. And the first thing I'm gonna do, see how I'm turning the head of the needle? I'm gonna pull my guy over top of these. Because you see over here, the lighter yarn is sitting on top of the darker yarn. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing I showed you a second ago. I'm gonna grab my first strand, turn my head to pull it through. And when you're turning your head, you're basically making it so the hook part, let me grab the bigger hook so we can see that a little better with the pink. When you turn your head, you're turning it so the hook part can slide. You don't want the hook to catch again on this next strand. 
So here we have the next strand. We go under, we turn our head, and we slide through. And then again, when you go to put this stitch back on the left-hand needle, go into the front of the stitch, not the back of the stitch, and then pull your crochet hook out. And see, we've totally fixed that mistake. Watch. And this one has knits and pearls in it. So you'll see we've got the pearl bumps here, and we've got slip knits that are the cream color that are lying over that ridge of purple pearls. Ridge of purple pearls. <laughs> um, we've got it here, we've got it here, we've got it here, but it's missing here. So we need to go back down to that stitch and fix it. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before, but we're gonna have to knit and purl as we ladder back up. So we're gonna ladder down, we're gonna take out one here. You definitely don't want that purl stitch. We have to remember that sometimes there's gonna be stitches here that we're not gonna use. This one we're not actually gonna do anything with because that was just a slip stitch. And then we've got this stitch here and it looks like we need to go one more and then get that out. Oh goodness, this is tricky, huh? So we've got the three. We're going to go under the purple strand and grab our actual live stitch and pull it out. Oof. Now, remember, we've got a knit here, a purl here, and then a knit. So here we're just gonna do the normal knit. Now for this one, we have to do a purl. And what I like to do for this is I just actually turn my work around. I hold on to this with my fingers, take my crochet hook out, and then I go back in and then I position this so the yarn is in the back and I do this and that gives me my purl stitch. You see how it looks like a knit from the back? And then I hold on to it again. I turn back around. Now the nice thing about this worsted weight wool yarn is that it's grabby and it doesn't want to go crazy and go away. Sometimes you'll want to have things that want to go away. So I'm going to bring that stitch back up to the front, just flip it out there. And remember, we didn't knit that one. We're just going to knit this one. And then we're going to put that back on the needle there. And we're going to take a quick look. And you see, you would never know that I missed that one either. And as I said, your crochet hook is always gonna be your friend in these cases, and you just have to pay attention to what you undo so you can redo it.